What's up you guys? Welcome back to Adorable American Girl. I am going to Fight Below, Target, and Hobby Lobby for a shopping vlog. And if all else fails, I have a surprise at the end. You guys have been asking about Pepper, so she'll be making a return. And I will probably sew her something because she has no clothes. So, let's get in the car and let's go. I decided to go to a different five below today and I don't know what's going on in here it is totally disorganized there is literally stuff everywhere they had no mini locker section which is one of the main reasons I came in here if you guys know that black um, photo grid I have in my dollhouse I actually got from five below and I wanted to show you guys all the other stuff that they have but it looks like everything is sold if out. you're ever looking for twinkle lights here is a perfect place to find them. I really like these little plant dinosaurs. Those are cute. So if you want a Himalayan salt lamp in your doll's house, you can either get the plug-in or those light fixtures and just unscrew a piece of the salt and put it on your doll's dresser or TV stand like I did. And they also have these really adorable hangers that you could hang around your dollhouse. I really like this home sweet home one. It matches the American Girl kitchen set perfectly. Okay you guys, so now we are at Target. I am so thankful there is one super close by. I'm hoping that their dollar section is fully stocked with um, stuff for the fall because Five Below was such a fail. I am not going to go to that Five Below anymore. I'm just going to go to my normal one. But let's go in and see what they have. Oh no. The dollar section is looking kind of bare, guys. Alright, guys, so it's not much here. It's um, a few of these wooden signs. Those are kind of cute. You could probably customize those and put them somewhere in the dollhouse. I like the vines. Hmm. Why is this section so bare? I came to a different Target than what I usually come to, so that could be why it looks like this. That's way too big for American Girl dolls. Okay. onto the our generation section i have been seeing these sets everywhere you guys have not seen that typewriter set again yet but they just re-released it so if you're looking for it you might want to check um, target.com i actually really like this microphone that's actually really cute especially if you have a doll that is a youtuber um, they can use the microphone to go along with their um, laptop or computer I really like that candy set. I keep saying it and I'm probably going to get it one of these days. This looks so small. Hmm, what else? I feel like all of these sets I've seen so many times. There's a different one. That's the first day one. That's cute. I like the animals. The new outfits. Hmm. Let's go and see if, oh my gosh, you guys, you know what? I just got an idea. Since I have like a Visco dollhouse, I actually kind of need that surfboard to put in the dollhouse. But that means I need to buy the Jeep too. Right, you guys, so they don't have any of that mini locker section here either. It looks like it's all sold out, the one that I got my chandelier from. But I did find these small items which are super realistic and cute. I love that little circle mirror and I love this little macrame. $6 is a pretty good deal. It would cost more to make, I feel like, if you wanted to add in both of those colors. And they have these really cute 
um, wall hangings. They're a little heavy though, they're ceramic. Let's go and see if we can find the placemats because those make perfect rugs. All right, if you guys are looking for the most perfect doll rug, make sure to check out Target's placemat section. Um, I, that's the one I have. I really like this one too. Like these rugs look like real rugs. These placemats look like real rugs, I mean. Um, that floral one is cute. That's my blue one right there. Ooh, this yellow one is really, really cute if you're going for a color scheme. So perfect for a doll room. All right, you guys, I am trying not to be discouraged this vlog. I have not really found anything that I want or need for the dollhouse. So my plan B was to go to Hobby Lobby and find some fabric for Pepper because she needs an outfit, guys. She doesn't have anything cute and aesthetic to put on. So I snagged this plaid fabric and grabbed some more needles and we're gonna head back to the dollhouse so I can sew her an outfit. So I'm back home you guys and that shopping trip was kind of a fail. I actually wanted to go to Walmart too, but I just didn't have enough time to go today. But I'm hoping to go sometime this week or this weekend. Today is actually Wednesday. I can't believe the week is going by so fast. So many of you were asking, where is Pepper? So here she is. I actually kind of missed her anyway. I did go to the Hobby Lobby, as you guys saw, and Pepper doesn't have an outfit, so I decided to go ahead and get her an outfit going. Really cute preppy girl outfit. I got some more sewing needles, which I really, really needed. Then I have this preppy print for some pants, and I'm gonna make her a crop top, long sleeve crop, kind of like the green one I just made. My desk is pretty beat up, you guys. So this is from all the crafting and everything that I've done. Um, but it took me forever to find my jean back. But I found the back, as you can see, um, it's really, really used. But I redid the front part. And then this is the pocket. I don't do back pockets yet because I just haven't really dove into trying to figure that out. And then I'm going to do a crew neck top, crop top, so. I am going to make the sleeve a little bit longer, but I'm gonna use this size of a pattern. I have some new needles. I just need to go get my sewing machine out the closet. You know, if you guys want to see more videos like this, um, I kind of film whatever I want, but it is nice to know what you guys like. So. There are so many tutorials on YouTube on how to sew doll items. I didn't see a lot of people use Liberty Jane patterns though, so I have old dusty tutorials on here. Um, I definitely recommend Liberty Jane patterns. I really love them. I have not had a bad pattern yet. The American Girl ones from um, Hobby Lobby and Joann's are really good as well, but they just cost so much unless you catch one of those one dollar sales. So obviously this part is in fast forward motion, but it took me about an hour to sew the pants in the top, I believe, even an hour, an hour and 15 minutes, which is incredibly fast for me. I've gotten a lot faster. And that includes cutting the pattern and you know loading my machine, sewing the top and the bottom. Um, I encourage you, if you want to learn how to sew better, um, doll clothes are a great way to learn. And it's just really nice to be able to create something that I have in my mind for my dolls. My sewing is still pretty basic to me, but I hope to keep practicing and to keep getting better. All right, you guys, so here is so Pepper's outfit is completely done now. I love it so, so much. There's Garfield in the back. Loving these pants so much that I wanna make my own. And Pepper is looking restored to her natural beauty. So, so cute, you guys. So leave a comment down below. 
and give this video a thumbs up if you want to see more videos like this. Like I said, I'm not a DIY channel at all, but I will show you guys how I do things if you're ever interested. Pepper is ready for fall. Leave a comment down below if you want to see more videos like this or what you want to see next. See you guys. So glad you guys missed me. If you guys want to see more of me and my dolls, don't forget to follow us at Adorable Doll Stuff on Instagram. I update all the time there, you guys, pretty much on a daily basis. And don't forget to leave me a comment letting me know something else that you want to see. I am trying to stay current and up to date with my channel. And I cannot wait to talk to you guys. Bye.